Tomorrow, one of the best OG colorway is coming back in a low top version. But not, this is not the first time that we see a low top um, Jordan 1 low shadow. Actually, in my hand, we have the first one. This one is the OG. Well, probably not the first one. This is the um, 2015 or 2016 pair. I don't remember the year I got these. But it's one of those years, okay? Cool, cool. But tomorrow we're going to have another version of the shoe, a little, a little different to this one, but very, very much the same shoe that I have today for you in camera, guys. I haven't seen those in person yet because even though the shoe is, it's already below retail, and a few weeks ago was even lower. I don't trust those um, resale applications because, like for real who's out there selling a shoe that hasn't even released yet on the retail who right there is actually willing to lose all that money you feel me i, I just don't trust them i don't trust goat i don't trust tactics we all know the history with them i don't trust them and with these early pairs so 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 low on the retail it's like i don't know I don't know. Sometimes uh, for, for content purposes, I have pulled the trigger, like taking the risk of getting a fake pair, but it's like, you know, I'm a content creator. Sometimes I have to, but this time I'm expecting the issue. I'm expecting the Jordan Wallow Shadow to be a really easy cop. Like I really want it, but I feel like it's gonna be really easy to get, which probably already answered one of the questions that you had about these um, these upcoming shoes release. And is that, yeah, in my opinion, the Jordan 1 Low Shadows, as dope as I think they are, I, I can see those shoes sitting, at least in the most popular sizes, like for real, for real. I, I really feel that this will be a easy shoe to get. That's why I'm just gonna wait till tomorrow to see the shoes in person, but, that doesn't mean that I, I haven't seen anything about them. I have seen pictures, videos, and man, man, they look fantastic, for real. Quality-wise, I think they are better than these. Quality-wise, because this is probably a perfect version of the shoe, and probably that's something that makes you ask a question that, why do I want the new ones if I already have these? Well, it's simple, like I told you, the quality on this new version, I think, for what I could see, I think it's gonna be way better than the quality that Nike used for this one because quality on this one is pretty much mediocre. Let's let's just put it like that. The the synthetic leather on this shoe is like nah. It's a really nice looking shoe. Don't get me wrong. It's really really nice and beautiful. The shape of the shoe is damn perfect, beautiful. But the new one has this amazing quality that. I just want to see the shoe in person. I want the shoe in my collection. The Jordan 1 Shadow is one of my favorite shoes ever. And I already have this one right here. I love them, by the way. One of my favorite shoes in my collection. I love this one deeply, deeply. Like, I, I can't even believe the fact that I got this shoe for $70, okay? Let's just put it like that. I got this one for $70. These were sleeper. Go watch the prices on this one. Go watch the prices on this one now. But yeah, I already have these, you can see it right here, but I also have the high babies, the real ones, the OG ones, the main one, well, not the OGs, this is the, the, the remaster, but you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. So having these two, I really feel like as a collector, I need the new ones too. I want the new ones too. Yeah, because it's not that I need them. I mean, what am I gonna do with those that I'm not gonna do with these, you feel me? But it's just that I want these new shoes. They, they just look that good. They are really that good. If you don't have any of these, man, don't sleep on those. And if you have these two like I do and you want those shoes, tomorrow is the day. Or, or you probably want to do the smart move and wait for the shoes to go on sale. You gotta try. Probably gonna go on sale. We, we've seen how the sneaker market has been moving and I've been loving that. The that, that, that easy that it is for people like us to get the shoes that we love. Because I feel like right now we are on. We're like Will Smith in the final episode of, of Fresh Springs. You know, when he was alone right there just looking at everything by himself. I feel like that's how we are. And I'm talking about the real sneakerhead. I really feel like that's what we are. People who really love shoes, we are alone in this um, sneaker game right now. The resellers are not here anymore. They gone. I can't see them anywhere. They are gone. 
because those high bees, they, they just wanted to make money. They just wanted to make money with us. So they were buying everything. But since the economic and some of the things that has been going on in the world, people are not buying shoes as they used to. So the resellers are gone. It's just me and all of you. People who really love shoes. We are alone. And I've been enjoying this moment because they're probably gonna come back, but I'm just enjoying this moment while it lasts. Guys, guys, this one, like I told you, I don't need to speak that much. I told you, the main reason why I need the new ones is because I love this colorway so freaking much. I got these two and I want the new ones too because I wear these shoes a lot. Like you can see the creases right there. I love the creases on my shoes, by the way. I wear these shoes a lot and I, I want the new ones to rest this one a little bit because if there's a shoe that we ain't gonna see again, is this one. This version of the You Don't Want Low, it's gonna be really, really hard for us to see this one again, this way with a big swoosh and everything. I don't wanna mess this one up. I still gonna wear my shoes. I wear all my shoes. I love doing that. But I, I just don't wanna wear these as often as I've been wearing these. You know what I'm talking about? So guys, tomorrow, you are gonna come with me to pick up my new pair of Juden One Low Shadows. I'm gonna do the review in comparison between the new ones, these and these. Also, I'm gonna do the lace swap video. Let me know which laces do you wanna see in that video because you know your boy is gonna drop that content that you really like to see. Lace swap, on feet, reviews, all kind of sick of content. You're gonna get it on this channel. So make sure to be subscribed if you haven't yet. By the way, guys, if you want a shirt like this that match your shoes perfectly, um, you can go into this Instagram. These people have really, really amazing shirts like this. Just saying, I'm just saying. Guys, let me know if you're gonna go for the new version of the Jordan One Low Shadows. Let me know that in the comment section and see you this Saturday on the Pickup Blog video, guys. Thank you, thank you a lot for watching the video. Thank you a lot for being, I'm showing all this love that you've been showing to me and to the content. I really appreciate you for that, guys, for real, for the bottom of my heart. There's something special coming from me in gratitude with you. There's something really, really special coming. So stay tuned with your boy. And if you want to know more about me and my content outside of YouTube, you can always go and follow me right here on my Instagram is jsonjkx. I'm always uploading videos, picture, sneaker information like Chuck Drop, early access, all the upcoming releases. You're going to know about the first right here on my Instagram, jsonjkx. Thank you guys again for watching and till the next one. What a beautiful colorway. What a beautiful and classic shoe. Woo. Goodbye.